Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's word with you. And I'm not alone, I'm with my lovely wife, Gloria George. And today we continue with our 10 years story that we've been sharing with you. But before we go into today's broadcast, can we call for the daily, daily bread? bread? Join us right now in faith. Say, Father. Father. I demand right now. I demand right now. My daily bread. My daily bread. It is coming to me now. It's coming to me now. In Jesus. In name. Jesus' name. A Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Expect a miracle today. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank now, you, Lord. we we got to. I think I should let you continue from where i stopped yesterday hey today is valentine's day mm -hmm. whoa <laughs> praise god and listen now it doesn't matter what you think about um, valentine's day now it's a day that people celebrate love now this is the truth of course we know a lot of things people do a lot of things people think about this day is wrong but, but this is the truth. God is, is love. And the Bible says, the Holy Spirit is the one who shares love in our, in our hearts. Because heart. the love of God is shared abroad in, in our, our heart, heart by the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Now it means love originates from only God. Love, yeah. If God is not involved, Love is not in it. It doesn't matter what, what you anybody feel or thinks. Think. What you feel. Mm. Oh, I like the way he treated me. Mm. I felt love. Mm. Uh -uh. You feel something like love. Now, when you don't even know what love is, you would, you, you would, you would, you would assume everything is love. is love. And that's the mistake a lot of people have made in life. If there is no God in it, there is no love, love in, in it. it. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Because the origin of love is God. God. And it is the Holy Spirit. So, no, number one, anyone who doesn't know God cannot love. love. The person does not have the ability to mm -hmm. love. Number two, anyone who doesn't have the Holy Spirit in him does not have the facility to love. To love. Because it is the job of the Holy Spirit who sheds love abroad in yeah. our hearts. Mm -hmm. Number three, anyone who's not actively participating with the Holy Ghost cannot operate in love. Now, that's why people, oh, it was love at first sight. Mm. But then five years down the line, oh, it's now hate mm. at last sight. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see that's you don't want to addition. <laughs> no but it's true you don't want to see the person again what's that hate at last sight the last time i saw you it was hate and i don't want to see you again <laughs> praise oh god goodness. yeah because because god was not in, in love, love yeah with it yeah now that's what our 10 year story is from day one it was the love of god mm. that was that came down mm -hmm. you know from the very day i saw you yeah when the word of god came to me i said mm -hmm. take care now what's that that's love, love. because god communicates his love oh, through words. he commands us to yes. love yes he commands us. love has nothing to do now now when With i say flesh. when i say nothing to do i want mm -hmm. to understand what i mean by that love has nothing to do with oh i just feel so my body's doing me <laughs> somehow come on come off it that's not love that's your flesh responding to a feeling mm. love has everything to do with responsibility Ability. responsibility so if you don't feel responsible where that person is concerned you don't have love for that, for that person, person. Now, responsibility means protect that person. Mm. See to the good of, of that, that person. person. Now, when we say responsibility, there are two words. And I've said this before. There are two words. Response, then ability. ability. So, number one, there's got to be ability. Mm. Then next, there's got to be the willingness to respond, respond with that ability. Now, if God is not involved in that person's life, there is no ability in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, you don't even talk about the willingness. So, if, even if there's willingness... 
there is no ability. So how will the person out. respond? Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So as you as you go about celebrating Valentine's, Saint Valentine's Day, day today, mm -hmm. as you spread gifts, whatever. Now, now some churches take this day out to visit the less privileged people. It, it, it didn't even say it's love. Now that's how the world has made it love for a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. But it's actually a day to show love. Just be a blessing. To be a blessing to, to other to, people. To other people. Let it come from the place of God. God. In whom you your carry heart. Praise God. Hallelujah. So over to you now. <laughs> There's something you want to say yesterday. Yeah. Ahead. Okay. About um what was that now? Now we're the... talking about the the full moon. Okay. Okay, two things I wanted to say. Yeah the how the money came to us okay we've talked about that mm. when mommy Kure prayed for us and then things started happening and then secondly my own full moon experience no, you know you know sorry to cut you okay i don't like cutting you but <laughs> when you're sometimes it's so like it's i don't want to miss what you want to say opportunity to, yes. to bring out something yes and it's okay i'm patient when God is involved in something, He want, He says, looking unto Jesus, the, the author, author mm. and the finisher mm. of, of our, our faith. faith. So when God is involved in something, you must mm. wait for Him to author it. Yes. You don't rush. Mm. Now that's what God was doing with us, where yeah. the finances for our wedding was concerned. concerned. Yeah. Now we had some money. Mm. We felt okay. Now we're planning wedding. It is just smart mm. and wise to keep this money for, for the it. wedding. Yes. But then, the Lord, being the author, He didn't command us to, to keep, keep that, that money, money for, for the, the wedding. wedding. It was our own thing. Decision. Yeah. Now, it's right. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. it's right Prudence. to think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But because of His integrity, that we know mm -hmm. and we understand. Mm -hmm. You know in dealing with him mm. now you see this thing comes with understanding the way i understand god might not be exactly the way the you, way you do. understand god mm. but you see we are all called to perfection yes. so now perfection is not me trying to adjust my life no perfection is trying to is, is you understanding how perfect god, god is, is and then dealing aligning. with him accordingly yeah so so now because he's the author and finisher he had to make us do away with everything that we could have trusted him. Mm, mm. Then he now said, "Take, put your tithes together, together and go give it to this person. Mm. Now what's that? The author. He authored the faith. So when we were doing that, we knew this was the way that the gates of the finances of our wedding Will was going opened. to open. Yes. We knew. Yes. We knew. So go trust. Ahead. That's where trusting in God comes in. <laughs> yes, because now he's authored it. So he'll yes. finish it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we author it ourselves, then we now have to start looking for how we'll drag him in to finish it. And but then you if, struggle. If he's the one saying, mm -hmm. you will see that, you know, you'll see as that we talk, as, we, yes. as, we, as we continue. Yes. Yes. So I had to bring that out when you yes. said what you said. That's yes. why I interrupted you. Yes. So yes. go ahead. Yes, working with God demands your all. Yeah. Sometimes you may not even understand it, but just following Him and trusting Him. Thank you. Jesus. You know, the the Scripture says, "Let your heart be fixed in Proverbs, trusting mm -hmm. in the Lord." That's one of the scriptures mm -hmm. I found early. I had to go check what does trust mean. Yeah. It means to rely, to depend, to put your all in someone. The problem with a lot of people with the word of God is mm. they don't know the definitions exactly. of the words. Exactly. You just hear it and then, oh, oh okay, just it, it looks beautiful. It makes nothing. It makes I, no <laughs> deep impact. In yes. Your I like to be literal with the word. Like, if God is saying something, what does he really mean? Mm. Let me even get the English definition of it before I try to spiritualize it too much. Because sometimes it's just clear. It's written there clear. And then when you take it, the Holy Spirit comes in, takes it over, and then begins to expound it to you. And then the more testimonies you have, the more results you have as a result of the word, it builds your confidence. It builds your that trust that you have decided to have in God. It, it makes it firm. You're resolute. So when God gives you an instruction, you're already willing. 
because you know that when he says do and you obey definitely miracles will follow definitely miracles go. but when you struggle and you keep struggling god does not manipulate us he yeah, doesn't well, he force does. us our he will does. he allows us to do what we want to do yeah. even after he has instructed us that's yeah. why a very important prayer to pray is god walk in me put to will and, and to, to do. do let me be willing to do what you tell me to, to do, do. Yeah. And as I am willing and obedient, what does the Bible say? That's, you will that's eat. why in a, even in our, in our case, and I think we brought this up when we talked about it. Mm. The fact that God has said, this is your wife. Yeah. It's our, our, no matter how wonderful it is, mm. you, we, we have to submit our hearts to become willing. Mm, yeah. You understand? To his, willing. Yes. That, okay, this thing God has said, mm. I look at it again, mm. and now I'm not entering it because God said it. Just so. said it. I'm mm. entering it because I have accepted the wisdom of mm. God, and this is now my own decision. Exactly. You understand? That's yeah. very, very important. Because there are there are people who are married, and they are not enjoying the marriage. Mm -mm. And the way he says it, it's just that it's God that... That, that told, told me, but he did right. also count the cost. Yeah, you, you, you see, you didn't sit down to, to accept check. it. Yes. Because challenges will come. Mm -hmm. Oh, challenges will come. Mm -hmm. We will share some of our challenges that mm -hmm. we've had. Mm -hmm. You know, not so it's not now we told you how we, we, we got to that point where the doctors had told no us child. that you know that you, you may, may, may have issues mm -hmm. with, with childbearing. Mm -hmm. That was a challenge waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We will still talk about it because we that was just us being sure that okay, that test then was okay. Let me see if this man is going to just run away because of this because thing of this that issue. the doctor yeah. said. So, so challenges will come, mm -hmm. but then the operating system of your life must be completely dependent on the word of god on what god has said yes and your heart must be fixed, fixed. <laughs> like a flint you know yeah. there are some certain scriptures that by the spirit of god god showed to me that till today i cannot let go of them he says be like a flint let your face be like a flint be focused focus don't look to the left nor to the right just be, stay on be, the word you know you know you know you see be focused number one on what you want mm -hmm. and never compromise mm -mm. now sometimes people will tell you oh your your standards are too high, high. the question is what are those standards based, based on? on exactly see that now mm. now a lady will say, hmm, my standard, any man, any man that wants to marry me must have a Range Rover Sports or Range Rover Vogue or mm. whatever. In fact, his proposal to me must be with mm. that kind, if not. <laughs> now, that kind of desire uh, is not rooted on the word. in God's mm. word. So it mm. can fail. Mm. It can keep you from getting married. Mm. You can even but, get married and you don't enjoy it. But you see, as a, as a lady, as a guy, mm. one thing you must do is to soak yourself in, in the God. word. Soak yourself in. Now, he says, he will give you the desires of, of your, your heart. heart. Now, what does that mean? I want you to understand. When God says he will give us the desires of our heart, you know, many people think, I desire to have a car next mm. week. God, you say you'll give me the desire of my heart. No. That scripture actually means when I submit myself, myself to, to the, the lord. lord he will begin to put the right desires, desires in, my, in heart. my heart so suddenly it's just like he begins to change my appetite he, yes he begins to orchestrate the kind of things i will begin to like mm. now that's what it means so when, when i'm soaked in god now there's nothing wrong in desiring Hey, all these fantastic all those, things. I mean, yes. there is nothing wrong with that. No, no. that's your desire. In fact, mm. in fact, you, you should put that before the Lord. Mm -hmm. That Lord, I, I want a husband who can do this for me. Mm. Don't be ashamed to say that that's mm. between you and, and God. God. Yeah. But then, except God commands you and tells you, my daughter, the man that will marry you will come with a white Range Rover Sports. Mm. 
except God tells you that. Now, if God tells you that, then that's what you should be looking Hold out for. On to, but yes. if God doesn't tell you that expressly, mm. while it is not wrong for you to desire it, mm. you must pay attention to what God has yes. said. Yeah. Because eventually, the man who will buy you the Range Rover Sports might be trekking today. today. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? He might be trekking today. But it doesn't mean that you should discard that dream. Yes. But what you should look out for is, now this is what I have in my heart. But what is the Lord saying? Same. And then the Lord begins to point out to you. He begins to put the, desi the right desires in, in your, your heart. Oh, when your husband comes, he's going to make you grow in the things of mm -hmm. God. He's mm -hmm. going to make you grow in the world he will begin to speak to you that's the truth when you submit to the lord that's why i say you don't just wait until somebody is proposing to you and i say mm. ah pastor please come and me find out his name is mr james okonkwo let me pray i know if he's the one for me mm. those those kind of prayers don't really work mm -mm. You have to be personally convinced beyond what no, anybody you see, has to say you yourself mm. have to be rooted in God's mm. word. Mm. Be rooted in God's word. Now, when you are rooted in God's word, it will begin to affect everything about around you. you. Yeah. It will even affect the kind of people that come around you. Yeah. Oh, I don't understand. Why is it that it's these married men that are always coming around you? There are many factors that, that can affect you. you Facts, know? Yeah. There are many factors. But then, you see, the problem is not who comes around you. It's what the you problem do. is who stays mm. so if you're walking right with the lord mm. even if the wrong people come around you you don't have to adjust to chase them mm -hmm. or they, they try to stay with you but mm. by your consistency yeah they'll begin to disappear mm -hmm. either they stay or they leave they'll or they're affected by your light now the one that truly is receiving the light mm. and you must see mm. the one that is truly receiving your light would stay yeah the person will stay and the person is not going to stay because of anything physical, physical. Now, for example for example just, yeah. yeah okay for example when you left school and then you came and said god said you should come walk with me mm. and then you stayed now i, I didn't marry you because you stayed mm -mm. no that's not the truth mm -mm. but then possibly god saw that also in you now the question is why did you stay mm. There was nothing physical that you say, oh, oh Pastor has a lot attractive. of money. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor has a lot of money. At least let me go work with him. Mm -hmm. He will pay me very well. And or, I had or, needs. Or, or, or things like that. Mm -hmm. No. It was completely because the of the word of the Lord mm. that you stayed. Mm. Now, that's the kind of things you check around you. Yeah. Who's staying around you because of the word? Mm. Who's staying around you because of the virtues that you carry? Your convictions. Inside yes. you, not the physical. physical. That's how you even begin to have godly friends. Jesus, even Jesus asked his disciples, mm. would Who you also go, go away? away? Mm. And Peter said, to whom shall we go? Exactly. You have the word of life. life so peter is not staying with jesus because of what he would benefit mm -hmm. he was staying with jesus because of the words that, that was comes coming out, out of, of his, his mouth. mouth yes so he says look that's all i, I need. need sometimes it's impossible you're in a relationship it's impossible to ask yourselves why are you with me exactly what do you want from me Where what do you here? want from me? i'm talking to christians now mm. if you're unbelievers then you already have a problem you have a problem already because now you, you can't even tell if what you have is going to last. You can't tell. But if you're believers and you love the Lord, those are questions you should... Why? Mm. Maybe you've been dating someone for one year, two years, three years. Hey, why me? Why are you sticking with me? And listen. Listen to that answer. Because mm. to enlighten you. Yeah. That's just a word for someone. Yes. Yes. So, go on. <laughs> so, we now... Where, where are we? On the... <laughs> we are still talking about this wedding day. You know, on the day of the wedding, we can fast forward to the day of the wedding. Yeah. After all the, you know, processes, 
trusting in God, things started happening, yeah. miracles here and there, wonderful people in our lives oh. that God used to be a blessing to us. I even remember when Mommy Kure asked us that where was uh, where are we oh. going for honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, mommy, we've never even talked about the wedding day. We are not even thinking about the honeymoon. <laughs> we, 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 we are looking for how this wedding is going to hold success. <laughs> and it was the same day we took our tithe to her after she prayed for day. us. Yes, after okay. she prayed for yeah, us. Yeah. So she now asked, so where are you Wait, going to? The honeymoon. <laughs> so said, we had a good laugh. Like, so let's mom, finish the wedding first. The wedding, no. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're not even thinking of honeymoon. If we finish the wedding, I'm like, okay, the wedding is done. We are, like, we're not we're together. Honeymoon. We're together. We can do honeymoon. <laughs> I think that's where the first miracle kind of like started. No, no, no. Yeah, not because that day. she, yes. Not that day. It wasn't that day. It was sometime later. No, this this one I'm talking about was like for the honeymoon, yeah. not for the wedding. Yes. Because she clearly told us that, see, where would you love to go for your honeymoon? And you're not like, okay, my wife has never been to Dubai. I'd like to go to Dubai. Because she was really serious yeah. after you had, you know, had that yeah. good laugh. Yeah. She was like, mm -mm, I'm serious about this. Where would you like to go for your honeymoon? So you now said, after thinking for a while, he said, okay, my wife has not been to Dubai, so I, I would like to go to Dubai. So mommy said, okay, I'm going to drop this seed. Not for the wedding. Yeah. Do not use it for the wedding integrity my goodness you don't even have any money <laughs> and someone is dropping a seed in I dollars remember, it was a thousand dollars yes that do and she not said, use it this is for your, your honeymoon not for you are thinking don't of honeymoon when we've not even done the wedding <laughs> so we're like thank you mommy so we now had an agreement with god that, that okay, okay we're going to keep this dollars aside this, this aside yes and we released our faith to receive money in dollars yes. so, so we said we said lord since this is for honeymoon yeah this is what we're going to do any money you're giving us for the wedding we come in there mm. any money you're giving us for, for the honeymoon, honeymoon we come in dollars now you see that that's how we operate in faith you know something i was saying this is all like my God. Okay? <laughs> yeah yeah seriously now there were times we were looking for twenty thousand there, and we had dollars. So we had a thousand dollars. We could not go change it. Change it and use it anymore. <laughs> no, <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> oh my goodness, God is good. Seriously, God is and, faithful. And God is faithful. Now, even when the wedding was approached, a few mm. days to the wedding, we're mm. asking us, so "This honeymoon will really work out." <laughs> <laughs> we didn't walk at all. But let's just keep following. Let's, let's, just, let's keep, just keep trusting. Mm, let's, let's just, just keep, keep following and trusting. And then I remember we went uh, went to see a, a family. Mm -hmm. And I remember now, this is a family that we know their love for us. Yes. And then we also knew that at that time, they were going through some financial challenges. challenges. Yes. So we're like, Kind of like reluctant to even go yes. with them. They are waiting with yes, the, the uh, invitation card. Our, thoughts, yes. our thoughts were like, look, let's keep communicating yes. over the phone. Mm -hmm. And all oh, these are progress we're mm -hmm. making. And, you know, mm -hmm. But if they see us, we just felt at that time. It wasn't just okay. If they see us, they will be feeling that. Oh, yes, that we would have loved to do something, something. Yes. for you guys. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but then we got to. I think it was the spirit of God that mm. directed us that day. It's like, mm. go see them. Mm. Say, how, how do so, we do this? <laughs> we decided to go on a service day so we that we'll just quickly drop the card. You know, we are leaving for we church. Leaving we for just church. said, let's yes. just drop this IV and then let's just go to church. <laughs> and that's how we got. We got to the house <laughs> and we went in. The warm reception. I'm like, oh, you uh, know. Now, they didn't know where come. Mm -mm. We they called when we were at the gate. Yes, it was when we got to the gate. Yeah, we, we just were, wanted to do one like, sharp yes, thing. Yes, like even if they were not around, we yes, just, we just dropped, dropped it with exactly. the security man so or with the we got, people we at got, home. We got to there. This was a few days to the wedding. Yes. So we got to their house and oh, we oh we are inside. Ah, okay. So let's just go say hi. Tell them we're going to church. Then we got there and we just said, oh, there was already an envelope on their dining table, table. and he, he told the wife and then the wife handed it over to us 
and oh say that's that's a seed to you for your wedding, for your wedding. <laughs> now they didn't know we were coming mm -mm. now this is how the spirit of god works and then we, we, we celebrated and entered the car opened it it was in dollars mm. now when we counted it we looked at ourselves <laughs> uh, the honeymoon thing have taken yes. shape yes already because we've done her own findings what yes. it cost like, yes and and that was it our time is over again <laughs> <laughs> oh god so much to wow. share so much thank to you share. Lord jesus thank you lord expectations are mm. being granted amen father many watching this have various expectations in their hearts mm. Not one will come back with shame. Amen. Not one. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.